As the landscape of warfare evolves with the increasing prevalence of unmanned systems, the UK is making significant strides in countering these threats through the development of the Radio Frequency Directed Energy Weapon, RFDW. In collaboration with Defense Equipment and Support, DNS, and the Defense Science and Technology Laboratory, DSTL, this innovative system is expected to enter service by 2026, marking a pivotal advancement in non-kinetic defense technologies. The RFDW is designed to neutralize a variety of threats across land, air, and sea, particularly focusing on unmanned aerial systems UAS, including drones. After three years of intensive experimentation, the system is nearing the end of its development phase. Its primary function is to use targeted radio waves to disrupt or damage the electronic components of enemy vehicles, causing them to halt or crash. This capability not only enhances the protection of the UK's military assets but also positions the RFDW as a crucial tool in modern defense strategy. One of the standout features of the RFDW is its low operational cost. Each shot is approximately 10 pence, 12 cents, making it an economically viable alternative to traditional missile-based air defense systems. This cost efficiency could significantly reduce military spending associated with defending against aerial threats, particularly in scenarios involving drone swarms that are becoming increasingly common on contemporary battlefields. The development of the RFDW is a direct response to the asymmetric threats posed by UAS, aligning with the UK Ministry of Defense's broader strategy to enhance military capabilities. The system is equipped with advanced detection and tracking technologies that allow it to engage various targets effectively. Its anticipated deployment in 2026 is expected to be a milestone in the evolution of military defenses, providing a robust solution against growing aerial threats. On May 16, 2024, the British government announced substantial progress with the RFDW, which is part of Project Ealing, aimed at augmenting military capabilities in the face of technological warfare. Defense Procurement Minister James Cartledge underscored the significance of the RFDW, noting that such technologies not only improve the effectiveness and protection of British personnel but also maintain the UK's position as a leader in military innovation. The RFDW emits focused radio waves that interfere with the electronic systems of drones and other enemy devices. Currently, the system has an effective range of 1 km, with efforts in place to extend this range further. Its mounting on various military vehicles allows for flexibility in deployment, enabling engagement with multiple targets simultaneously. In summary, the RFDW represents a significant leap forward in the UK's defense capabilities against unmanned systems. As the technology undergoes rigorous field testing and prepares for deployment, it stands to become an essential asset for the UK's armed forces, reinforcing their ability to operate effectively in an increasingly complex battlefield environment. The advancement of the RFDW illustrates the UK's commitment to innovation in military technology, ensuring that its defense strategies remain resilient in the face of evolving threats.